Hey Glamour Jammers, my name is Kelsey Beyer and I am part of your upline. I had the privilege of speaking with your leader yesterday, Brittany. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but Brittany is incredible. You guys are super lucky. She is brilliant, she's really good at marketing and partying, and she's one of the best encouragers and cheerleaders I know. So, just had to give perhaps and shout out to Brittany. But Brittany and I were talking yesterday about how so many different types of people do Jamberry, right? Like this can fit so many different lifestyles. It can fit into single people, married people, uh, ladies with kids, no kids, men, um, people with full-time jobs, part-time jobs, no other jobs. This really can be what you want it to be and you get what you put in. So. That being said, I wanted to share a little bit about my story, uh, how I worked this business with other businesses, um, and with being a mama of two, and still got to the top of our company. So, two years ago I joined. At that time I had three jobs. I worked uh, full-time at a school, I worked part-time helping my husband um, with his photography business, and then Jamberry. And I have two kiddos. Uh, at the time, they were six and four. Now they're obviously eight and six. Um, and it was busy. It was really, really busy. Um, so I'm not gonna lie and say that it was super easy to fit Jamberry in, it wasn't. But I decided that that was my priority because it was fun and it kind of felt like a stress reliever. And I knew that the more that I put in to the business, uh, the sooner I was going to be able to not be working three jobs, right? Like it was going to really relieve some of the financial burden. So I considered it a short-term sacrifice for a long-term gain. Does that make sense? I used that time and focused so that it would pay off in my time freedom with my kids in the future. So how did I do that? Um, here's some strategies that helped me. I don't know if you guys have heard of calendar blocking. This is not my real calendar. My real calendar is at home, but I wanted, I'm a big visual person. So, okay, I don't know if you guys can see this. It is color coded. Um, I take my calendar and I take some markers or highlighters, okay? Um, red symbolizes the heart, right? Near and dear to your heart. So any days, like for example, tomorrow I'm going on a field trip with my son. So I circle all of the dates or highlight all of the dates um, that I will be doing family things. So I know not to book anything on those days. Blue I use for meetings or maybe I'm meeting up with a friend or networking, um, anything like that. And then green symbolizes what? money, right? So if I knew there were days that I wanted to have a party or work, I'm going to circle or highlight in green, okay? So then when I go to call a host, potential hostess, I would say, it would be really easy for me to look at my calendar and go, okay, I have Thursday the 10th or Tuesday the 5th open, which works for you. So calendar block. Then you know what you're working with and what time you're willing to put in. Um, when I worked three jobs, um, I really had to be dedicated and I had to decide when I was going to work. Was I going to get up early before my day job and work? Was I going to work um, in the evening after my kids were in bed? Was I going to work when my kids were napping? What windows was I going to use to get this done and how much was I willing to invest? So hold on one second. And then um, another uh, few techniques that worked for me were to do the power hour or the five minute business rescue. It just depends how much time you have in a day. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of this, but for the power hour, it's focused time. We do a lot online and so it can um, be really easy to get stuck in a Facebook rabbit hole. You go on to do something and you're stuck doing this all afternoon and it can feel like you're working but you're really not so I recommend getting if you've got one of these kitchen egg timers set it for 15 minutes okay and then get decide what you're gonna do so it's kind of blocking and chunking out your time so in the first 15 minutes I know that I am going to call hostesses and I don't love being on the phone so if you don't love being on the phone this is a good technique because you can do anything for 15 minutes right so when it's in time increments like that it's really easy to get done so 15 minutes I'm calling people and then my timer goes off and I move on to my next task that I'm going to do for 15 minutes um, I'm going to maybe 
check in with all of my old customers and see how their wraps are wearing, or I'm going to check in with anybody on my team. So really dedicate that time so that the time that you are investing in the business is productive. It's income generating, right? It's not just getting lost um, on the internet. So if you don't have time to do a power hour, I talked about the five minute business rescue in our all team training. I'm not sure if you're in there last week. And what that is, it's a very similar concept. It's just five minutes. So if that's all you've got, you've got five minutes until you have to pick the kids up from school, set your timer for five minutes, sit down and call three people. What if you did that three times a day, right? What if you did that before you got the kids to school, while the little ones were napping, and after everybody was in bed? You've now contacted nine people in a day. What's that gonna do for your business? So be productive in those chunks of time and really dedicate and focus. That's gonna go a long way towards being busy and running a Jamberry business. Um, have help from your family. Make it a family affair. I love that. You saw little ones running around. I love little ones and I love getting them involved in the process. So what I like to do uh, is on a Sunday afternoon, the kids and I are hanging out. We've got something on the TV or the radio going and we decide to do all of my sample packets. So my little ones can help put a label on. So another one can help stuff them. And we make it fun. We make it part of the family family's routine and family's schedule. Um, and if you do a bunch of sample packets, a bunch of hostess packets, a bunch of everything, then you have them ready to go. So during the month, somebody says in a party, hey, I want a sample. All you have to do is put their address on it. You've already got it stamped. You've already got it addressed because you took advantage of those power amounts of time and prioritized and you got the family involved. So is it easy to do other businesses and have kids and do Jamberry? I wouldn't say it's easy, but it's simple. You can get it done. You prioritize what matters to you, right? So you find those windows, you focus, and you're gonna get it done, and it's really gonna pay off. And in the long run, this is going to give you time, freedom, and flexibility. Now I just do Jamberry. So tomorrow, I didn't have to ask anybody to take the day off to go to my son's field trip. Um, so focus, decide what you want, prioritize, and get it done. If you have any questions about time management, calendar blocking, how to do this, um, let me know. Feel free to send me a message. Bye, Glamour Jammers.